What does the world look like beyond visible light? What might we see if we could expand our vision? First, ultraviolet and infrared, then X-rays and gamma rays and radio. Well, okay, if we could expand our vision, the data we would see is beyond the human ability to process it. The electromagnetic spectrum has two radiation types that make a significant impact on our daily lives. Visible color and radio. The color spectrum is obvious. It is data, visible within our human ability. But as technology advances, it's the radio spectrum that captures our imagination. Amazing devices collecting superhuman data, processing it, transmitting it, and utilizing it in more and more influential ways. Much of it focusing on human-generated efforts for human-generated purposes. But we didn't get this far by human ability alone. We can exceed the farthest reaches of our solar system. We can dive as deep and fly as high and live in the vacuum of space. By looking beyond human ability, we dream dreams, we realize visions, and strive for something greater than ourselves. So as we enter this amazing age of connected knowledge, this age of super data, why would our efforts be focused only on us? What kind of data is out there that is greater than ourselves, for purposes greater than our own? The same way we look beyond our human ability, Spire sources Earth data that lies beyond the color spectrum, valuable, hard to acquire data that affects not only human efforts, not just human purposes, but our majestic world around us. We can use this invisible data, this spectrum beyond human ability, to reach out and pull ourselves up by our visions, by our dreams, and take that next great leap. A leap that, at first, is a leap of faith. Then solidifies. And becomes history.